If you're interested in learning about postpartum workouts that are safe for diastasis recti and will help me heal my core, keep watching. Before I begin, I'd like to make one brief point. Always check with your doctor before beginning any new workout programs, especially postpartum, because we are so weak at that time. I also divide these workouts into beginner, intermediate, and advanced levels since I noticed that some of them progressively became easier as I progressed through my postpartum journey, and some of them were more gentle on the core in the beginning, which is, which is exactly what we want. So the first workout is called pelvic tilt, and it's just a gentle pelvic tilt back and forth, nothing too strenuous, just enough to engage your core and keep things going. You should also press your back into the floor rather than arching it. Another beginner exercise is heel slides, which is a very delicate and controlled movement in which you lay on your back and slide or pull your heel in and out. It's much easier to perform this barefoot or with socks on, on a yoga mat as I did. You also want to make sure that you're not arching your back and you're keeping your back flat on the floor. I typically like to practice this in front of a mirror to ensure I maintain a proper form and occasionally placing my hand on my core helps me to ensure everything is nice and controlled. Now I was only doing around 10 on each side when I initially started. So you really have to listen to your body. You do not want to overdo it. The, ne the next move is foot taps. You are simply tapping each foot on the floor while moving at a slow and controlled pace. You wanna make sure that you're not arching your back and you're keeping your back flat on the floor with this exercise as well. Depending on how you modify it, it can be classified as beginning, intermediate, or advanced. But when I first started doing these exercises in the early stages of my postpartum, it felt weird because my stomach was so weak, but it has really helped tone up my abs. This is a glute bridge. You simply just lift your booty up, booty off the floor, and squeeze your buttocks while keeping your spine neutral and lowering, and lowering them back to the floor. Now, as you progress, you can actually add a weight, place them on your hip, and lift up as well. This next move is the bird dog, and it is quite difficult. In this move, you keep your core neutral and try not to arch your back while stretching the opposite leg and arm as far as possible while keeping your core engaged. And the side plank is the next exercise in this intermediate level. I prefer to modify this by bending my knees, as you see right here. It will be difficult to stabilize your core after having a baby, so you definitely want to start slowly with this exercise. And I believe this is an intermediate, intermediate stage rather than a beginner stage. As you get stronger, instead of doing them on your knees, you can take them up to your ankles and hold. You can also add hip dips after your static side plank pose if you want to take it to the advanced level, as you see what I as you see is me doing here. The last exercise is a side bend with a weight, which is another advanced, which is considered advanced. I usually use a ten pound dumbbell. But if I'm feeling stronger, I'll lift a heavier weight. And this motion can be done
standing or on your knees, or like with any anything else. <clears throat> the most important thing is to go slow and steady. Keep your core engaged and your posture upright. Also, make sure your stomach is not coning while performing these exercises. Thank you so much for watching. Please drop your comments in the section below on what workouts you want to see next. And I hope to see you again soon.